Well, what is up, guys? Filming yet again another derby, part of this big old road road trip we've been on for the past month or so. Uh, tonight we are at the Grayson County Fairgrounds here in Litchfield, Kentucky. Gonna be a good show tonight. They got big car motor swap. Uh, they got a mini car cleanup class, and they got some lawn mowers. Uh, there's a pretty good amount of cars rolling in tonight, guys. Uh, if you guys have not heard. Uh, that the uh, Bluegrass Bash Derby and Freedom Hall got canceled for this year. Uh, it was going to be in October, but they won't let them run it. So there's a few cars here that was going to be ran in Freedom Hall here tonight. Uh, promoted by the Top Dog Promotions crew where we were with them uh, back for the Carrollton Derbies. So we're going to take a walk around see who's all here, what's shown up. Like I said, they got motor swap for the big cars. They got a compact cleanup heat and they got some lawn mowers so we're going to see what's all here and what's shown up early on right here we got an early 90s crown vic I've been popular early 90s to mid 90s Lincoln Town Cars. There's a lot of these here. There's, it's probably the most popular car that I've seen here for this class so far. That and a lot of 9802s are coming out to play as well. Pretty good cars for these set of rules. Number three of Logan Ramsey. We've seen him run before with these big cars we've seen them in many cars we see them all over the place uh, i'm not sure if we've seen them here this here uh in 2020 but we're gonna see him here tonight in grayson he brought an early 90s town car Now they did run a mini car only derby uh, just last week here so I'm going to guess that a few of these cars are from that derby and possibly a few from uh, Carrollton as well. Wild wicked door shot right here. Peel that door wide open. got a two-door very nasty very clean looking two-door here for the motor swap few more over here and we will make our way into the dirt section of the pits. This pits is pretty large, can hold a lot of cars. Uh, they had 53, 55 mini cars here last weekend. Over here we got a Chevy Caprice. 
and if you guys know anything about these caprices they love to go down quick in the back so they prevent this up right in the middle of this trunk lid to make sure that folds completely in over here you guys have seen this guy run the 522 michael kelly uh, he won the metric dp class at sturgis this year that i went and filmed uh, he took i believe second at metal mayhem this year and he took second i believe it was the oldham county kentucky derby this year so michael's been around the place trying to this year we got our gopro man that's going to be in this car so you guys are going to get some gopro action in the motor swap class so be on the lookout for that one from the 522 of kelly But as you guys can see, it is getting kind of dark. It's been on and off rain uh, all day today. It is uh, turned into a sprinkle, like a sprinkle right now. Uh, and there's uh, supposed to be more rainstorms on the way. We're going to keep the camera as covered as possible. Uh, we do have a little pop-up tent that we can put over the camera, like a lot of these uh, people do in the stands. We're going to try to put that over the camera, make sure it's safe so you guys can see all the footage from tonight. which is probably going to be a mud swamp at the end of the night if this rain does come. So here we got a group of mini cars. So there's a few cars that are still on their way, still rolling in. Uh, here we got a slew of these big cars for the motor swap class. Uh, right here we got a mid 80s Crown Vic rolling perfect in the back. As you guys can see, it is very level with this speaker deck and the trunk lid. So this is gonna be a hard uh, back end by the end of the night in the 37X. These guys actually took out the trunk lid entirely and they didn't notch the back frame. They actually put some uh, dimples, two dimples for relief points in there trying to see if this can roll. So we're going to see how this goes. Watch the uh, 44X and watch the back end of this car and see if this will play a role in how this uh, ass end is going to go. Like I said, they are also having a lawnmower derby, and these lawnmowers hopefully aren't going to have too bad of a time in the mud tonight, especially with all this rain that is on the way. Hopefully they'll run them first and get them out of the way um, before this storm really comes in. Looks like a fairly stock mower build. I'd say more of a limited one. You can do a little bit of sheet metal. So we've seen the double zero of Smith already this year. This car is used and abused. Yeah, buddy. Multi-demo 10 on YouTube, bub. It'll probably be up sometime next week. 
Check a normal that over. I will, bud. Hey! See how low it is. Praise hell, eat cornbread. No, it's bad when you're like, girl, you're hot, dude. <laughs> this guy took a wicked door door shot in the rear. It is pushed way in. Rain is starting to pick up here, guys. We're going to try to hurry this up. We're at the almost 11 minute mark. This guy's seen checking these mowers. These are some really built mower cages wrapped around these wheels. There's the two time championship from Bluegrass. Bluegrass. Champion. King of Bluegrass champion here? Yeah. I believe. Yeah. All right, so this, these guys are going to be ones to watch out for tonight in these mower, in these mower classes. Looks like this mower class is going to be a pretty good show. Usually, uh, not many mower classes that uh, I've been to are really good, but they're they're talking up this this one tonight. So we'll see what happens here. I walked by these guys earlier. There, there's a group of like three or four of these guys. This bumper as well, even with that trunk plate, even with that speaker deck, that's gonna be a hard, hard trunk. And they also put a plate by the hump plate because these uh, humps really like to blow out when they get too hard. Uh, we seen it with Toast last week at Salem on the pavement derby. His hump started to blow right around here when that uh, back end got too too hard, too compact. So they put a plate right there and see if that's gonna help from this, these humps from blowing out. So we'll see how them go. And they did it on both sides, really smart. More early 90s Lincoln Town Cars, really the popular choice tonight. They have their Whole entire setup covered up as well as the interior. This rain is on the way. It's going to be, we're going to try to keep the camera covered as much as possible tonight. We're going to have to bring out that canopy tent tonight. Hey, sir. Yeah, what's up, bub? You might not videotaping that black and blue car, but number 80. I got you, bub. So we're going to see what happens tonight. So they're getting the track worked out right now. A lot of divots and a lot of holes was in that from last week. And over here we got a pretty stock mini car that's still on the trailer. Maybe some people thought they were running a uh, circle track class. I thought they were going around circle tracks. Tur circle track class as well tonight with uh, this being a top dog show, but not only in looks. And over here we got some we got some more motor swap cars. these crown vic this has a whole entire new doghouse on the front of it. it looks like he's got a 98 to two doghouse on a early 90s caprice it must got really messed up after the first run in that doghouse so watch the r02 with the 98 to 02 doghouse on the front of this thing Well, I think it is a drop, like the one I run up here, Brandon. Look at the pointy bumper on this homemade thing. 
pretty cool looking bumper ideas for these mini cars when they're homemade, homemade pointies. Five oh four of Tyler Decker. We've seen him run this year down in uh, Tennessee in that uh, mod division. So he's back up here. Good to see Tyler again. And we'll hit our final line of cars unless there is some over the bank, which there might be. And that will be our prelude for tonight, guys. A lot of cars, a lot of action. It's going to be some pretty good action for you guys. As it's going to be a busy September for us. We got multiple day derbies coming up. And we're going to be, uh, we got the 96X of par. Haven't seen him run in a while. Haven't been down in this area. Another big car rolling in in the back. That looks like the 1227 a copy pulling in. We do have a few cars down here, so we'll hit these line of cars, guys, and that will be your prelude for Grayson County. I've never been here before. A few people told me to come here. It's a good show. They always had they had a really good show last weekend, and they wanted they want to see me come to Kentucky more. So we've been hitting up Kentucky pretty much almost all year long. I've been getting out of the state of Indiana. Not many derbies are happening back where I'm from, so I've been on the road a lot lately. Trying to guess that some of these fresh cars were going to be their cars for Freedom Home when they got canceled. They wanted to find a place to run them at. So I'm going to guess that's a few circumstances for some of these guys and their fresh cars. A few more mowers. The mower builds down here in Kentucky are way different than the ones that we are used to seeing back home. Not much metal is done to these guys compared to what we've seen back home. Hey guys, 
guys. Looks like this is going to do it for our prelude here from Grayson County. There's a lot of cars. There's a lot of mowers. It's going to be a pretty good show from the top dog crew yet again. So stay tuned, guys, for videos from here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for the post notifications. You guys are going to get notified when we upload. And go over to Facebook and like us on Facebook as well so you guys can share them with your friends and family on Facebook. So guys, it's just about derby time. It's coming with rain, so we're going to hopefully have this camera covered quite as much as we possibly can tonight. So you guys can see all the action here tonight. So guys, we're ready. How about you? Grayson County, it's derby time.